Hello genealogist, it's Craig and this is Just Genealogy. I got a request yesterday for me to talk about the books we have available from Rockingham County, New Hampshire. I'm starting to say New Jersey. So Rockingham County, New Hampshire, probably the most important set of books that we have are the two volume set uh, by Evans of the abstracts of the probate records of Rockingham County, New Hampshire, 1771 to 1799. Kind of thick. Um, it's also, I should say, something I've never talked about before. It's also available on CD, which means it's also available as a PDF file. So depending on, on what you want, if you're running out of bookshelf space, we actually have 750, 800 CDs and probably 4,000 books available as PDFs also. Uh, I'll probably talk about that at some point in time. But anyway, back to Rockingham County. The other book that we have from Rockingham County is Rockingham County, New Hampshire Paupers. And then on CD, we have the abstracts of the probate records and then the history of Rockingham and Stratford counties with biographical sketches of its pioneers and prominent men. That's available on CD and also available as a PDF. And then we also have another PDF that uh, is called New Hampshire Volume 4, and it contains uh, a bunch of New Hampshire books, and one of them is the Popper book, so the uh, Popper book is also available uh, as a CD or as a PDF. Information about the abstracts of um, Rockingham. It, the here's what the issue is this book presents the probate records of rockingham county new hampshire from 1771 to 1779 initially all of new hampshire functioned as a single county and in 1771 it was divided up into the five counties of rockingham hillsborough stratford grafton and cheshire until 1773 grafton and stafford remained with Rockingham until their populations increased sufficiently to maintain a county system. Over time, additional counties were added, such as Coos, Merrimack, Sullivan, Belknap, Carroll. Some of the original towns in Rockingham include Allenstown, Brentwood, Canterbury, Concord. If, did I pronounce that right? I never can remember how to pronounce Concord. Deerfield, East Kingston, Epson, Exeter, Greenland, Hampton, Hawk, Kensington, Kingston, London, uh, Loudoun rather, Newcastle, Newington, Newmarket, Northampton, Pelham, Pembroke, Pittsfield, Piplin, Portsmouth, Raymond, Rye, Salem, and Seabrook, Southampton, Stratham, and Wyndham. And we have actually books on almost all of those places one way or another. And all of these counties, because of the size of Rockingham in 1771, are included here. So if Again, it's a county formation issue. So you will find the entries are in alphabetical order and include names spelled in the original documents, estates, guardianships, accounts, and titles. And then items about slaves discovered in wills, divisions have also been documented. So this is a good place to start your New Hampshire research. Now the Popper's book is a little bit different. We don't have too many paupers books. Basically, in New Hampshire, their laws required the town support those who could not do so for themselves if they had not been warned out of town 90 days before their dependence would begin. And so later, counties were given some responsibility in the maintenance of the poor. And this basically is an index to the records found in the New Hampshire State Archives listing people who are in a position to be supported by Rockingham County or by a town in Rockingham County. Included in this are the records of warnings out, affidavits in which applicants describe their reasons for asking for support, town records of support, descriptions of applicants' lineages, burial records, and vital records. So this is especially useful and in this for this time period also especially useful for identifying uh, women 
who were left as widows with children and could not support themselves. Now, the other piece is the history of Rockingham and Stratford counties, New Hampshire, which is available either on CD or on um, as a PDF. You might have to contact me directly to get the PDF because some of these things that we have on CDs, we haven't converted uh, to our PDF website, which you probably have never even heard about. We do have a PDF website. You can get it to it through heritagebooks.com by clicking on the PDF tab. So this uh, history is 125 chapters, and that explains why it's on CD instead of in a book form. It's just too huge. The first 86 chapters cover Rockingham County and this, the final 35, nine chapters rather, cover Stafford. It's actually a two CD set. Rockingham on one CD and Stafford on the other. And it, it, as in a typical history, it covers the history and development of the, the counties and the towns. And I've pretty much gone over the list already of towns that are included in Rockingham. And there is a, uh, a list of biographies and a list of illustrations included on each CD to provide uh, access to the information. And the illustrations are bookmarked as well. Basically, this is 1160 pages. So we have a few things on Rockingham County, at least some things that can get you started. And what I'll do is I will create a discount code on all of these items. And that discount code will be ROCK20. And should you desire to get um, any of these books, first 25 people will get a 20% discount on these titles. So this has been Craig. This has been Just Genealogy. And per the request of one of our subscribers, I talked about a county. I will talk about anything if you ask. Just have to get to the point where I have time to talk about it. We will, uh, although I said today we would talk about the third piece of the uh, process map, uh, things got a little out of hand yesterday, so I didn't have time to work on it. So I'll attempt to work on it some more. Uh, I'm actually traveling to Tennessee next week, so I have to probably create a whole bunch of short ones to get through the week, and then we'll pick things up with the uh, process map again probably next Friday. So I'm basically going to take a week off to travel and uh, I'll still have videos for you. I'm hoping that along the way of doing that traveling, I may come across something that will be uh, something where I'm not sitting at my desk doing this, uh, but out in the wilds of North Carolina or Tennessee. We shall see. So again, this is Craig. This is Just Genealogy. I hope you all have a great day. I know I am.